Alrighty guys, so I was not prepared for this, but Dave came home and was like, why don't you get out of the house for a little bit? So, come book thrifting with me. I feel like it's been forever since I did one of these videos. So I am excited to go book shopping with you guys. Again, it's been forever, so I can't wait to show you guys what I can find. The one thrift store I'm going to first is one of my favorites, and I'm sorry about this lighting. This is terrible, and I don't wanna turn this on because this is just even worse. Let's see, not as bad, okay, whatever. Um, so the one I'm going to first, that is my favorite thrift store around us. They have hardcovers for $2.50 and paperbacks for $1.50. And then if you go in the YA section, the YA paperbacks are a dollar and the hardcovers are two. Some of you who have been around a long while will probably be tired of hearing that because you hear that spiel pretty often. But anyway, that is the first thrift store I'm going to go to. And that is a local good stuff thrift. And then we will see from there where I go. But they usually have pretty good finds. I hope I don't jinx myself saying that. But I'm excited, so let's head there, and I will see you guys when we get there. Alrighty guys, so here we are at Good Stuff Thrift, and they have a pretty big book section, which I absolutely love. So here we are at the first part here, and we have a Mary Kay Andrews book. And I haven't read any of her work yet, but I've seen this book multiple times coming into the store and I'm always almost ready to pick it up. And then moving along, I ended up seeing this The Vanishing Half in paperback. I do have the hardcover. I have not read it yet, but love seeing books in paperback when I only think the hardcover's out. So that was nice to see. And then we move along to this side here and you will see that there are some authors who show up very frequently like there are a lot of books like you'll see here Tom Clancy and then as we move down a bit we'll see Michael Connolly which I pulled out the Lincoln Lawyer here. I have watched this show on Netflix and it is phenomenal so I'm always tempted to pick up the books and read them but that one wasn't in the best condition. Then we have some more repeat authors like Clive Hustler. Then I moved on to the next shelves. And here you'll see Sarah Dessen. So I was a huge Sarah Dessen fan when I was in my teens. And then here we have the Murder She Wrote books. I have been looking at picking these up, but I always hesitate. I should have probably just picked them up. And then we have Water for Elephants, which I see at every thrift store. And then we have a Joanne Fluke book. As you guys know, I love my cozies and I picked this one up and kept it in my hand. Then I always look at books that have the Book of the Month logo on them just to see what they are. And then we have some repeat authors. Again, you'll see a lot of John Grisham. And then we have this book, Less, and another book, Alias Emma, which I see quite often as well. I believe Alias Emma is a newer book. Okay, so moving along, I went to this shelf and I picked out Happy and You Know It, and I'll get more into this later, but I went on after this section here and I went to YA. I did want to mention that because I don't show it because there were kids in the section and I didn't want to record, but that basically wraps up my trip to Good Stuff Thrift. As you can tell, they have good books often. Alrighty guys, so I just got out of Good Stuff Thrift and... <laughs> There were quite a few people there, but I did end up getting to show you guys some of the books. I did pick up two and I ended up putting them back down. The one I picked up, I forget what it was called, but I put it back down. The other one I picked up was a Joanne Fluke book because I am a cozy mystery lover and I see her books quite often. So that was the only book left in my hands when I wanted to go check out, like when I was done looking at the books. And I figured since I see it so often, I don't necessarily need to stand it because there was a line. It's like, I don't necessarily need to stand in the line for this one because I do see it so often. Her books just pop up at thrift stores, you know, very often. So I ended up putting that one back down. I am going to go to a, I'm sorry, you guys can't see me. I am going to go, that doesn't help very much, but I am going to go to another thrift store and obviously you guys are coming along with me. This one is called 2A Thrift. Now this is a little bit more expensive price wise, but they usually have a decent selection. So we will head over there. They do have that buy four, get the fifth book free deal as well. So let's head over there now. 
So what I didn't know heading in here was that I actually went here on a Tuesday and everything on Tuesdays is 25% off, but that was a nice surprise. And here you can see Nicholas Sparks, Danielle Steele, and Nora Roberts. They always have a good selection of all of those authors. And when I say good selection, like look how many Nora Roberts books there are. And then there's Mary Kay Andrews, which they normally have a good deal of as well. Here you will see they have a ton of books. So you will see so many repeat authors as we go here. And even so many repeat titles because again, their selection is just so big. And then as we go through, you will see some popular authors and some popular book titles. And I picked some of them out to show you guys and some of the ones I see often at thrift stores. And then this one was by Ann Patchett and I just read Tom Lake and really loved it. I should have probably picked it up, but I did not. I'm just showing you the selection here. There's, like I said, it's just a huge selection. I can't get over how many books this thrift store always has. There's rows and rows. I should have took a video of how many rows of books there actually are and how many good titles and really well-known authors they have. You can see Mary Kay Andrews books there. And then we move down one. You see Time Traveler's Wife and Sandra Brown. Again, there are some historical romance. They have a lot of historical romance here, actually. I found a lot of first edition historical romances here before. Okay, so moving on along, we have some historical fiction here you can see beneath the scarlet sky which i didn't see while i was there and there is the paris wife and then we also have another frederick bachman and going down here we have some popular series and books and i wanted to ask you guys do you guys ever go to a thrift store and have a find and then totally regret not picking up the book you found because i had that instantly when i left the store we sold on the monday this is a historical fiction, I believe, maybe possibly wrong, but I have heard absolutely phenomenal things about this book. Everyone that reads it has nothing but good things to say, at least that I've come across, but I do have to say this store itself has an awesome selection of historical fiction, and you will see that as I continue to pull books out and like I said, they just have a lot of popular titles still. So there is Before We Were Yours by Lisa Wingate, which I have as well. And there are multiple copies of that here. And I don't know if I pull another one out, but I did see quite a few. There was Sophie Kinsella, which I see a lot at thrift stores. And here's another one, which I see so often, which is Untamed. Again, there was the second copy. And then this one I see as well all the time. So if you go thrifting quite often, you will notice that there are books that you will see quite often at a lot of thrift stores. And I should do a video on, you know, the books that you can find at thrift stores, like books to never buy, because like I said, there are books that you will always be able to find at a thrift store. So there was Ask Again, Yes, which is another popular title. And then this one, there were so many copies of The Girl in the Train here, and it you find it everywhere then there's mrs everything and this is another book of the month and i always pull those out like i said before then moving on down to the next shelf we have the help another one you can find at literally probably any thrift store you go to there's into the water by paula hawkins another one that pops up quite frequently these ones i only ever see here by cheryl woods cheryl woods books i always there's another the help <laughs> Cheryl Woods books I always find at this thrift store and I don't find them really anywhere else. So there's Sarah's Key, another one that is pretty often found at thrift stores. And then this one, I've seen this here a couple times, The Book Woman of Troublesome Creek. And then you have Turtles All the Way Down by John Green. I have never read that and I've had an urge to pick it up but just never have. And then some more, there was another uh, Lisa Wingate there. And then some more titles down here, another John Grisham, and we have another Sarah Dessen. So I actually, that was one I pulled out at the other thrift store, same exact title and everything. Then we have True Colors by Kristen Hanna. She is one of my favorite authors. And when I pulled this book out, I was going to purchase this one because I don't have this cover, but it felt like a little gritty. So I didn't end up picking that one up. And I j I'm just seeing now there's a little life and I did not pick it up. There's little fires everywhere. I read that one. It wasn't one of my favorites, but now I'm kicking myself for not picking up a little life. But it is what it is. Hopefully I find it again later. 
And then we have Lucy Foley, who I find at thrift stores quite often as well. Then moving down, we have a Natasha Preston. I have not read this one, but this one wasn't in the best condition, so I didn't grab it. You have two copies of The Woman in Cabin 10. Then you have Kristen Hanna, one I've read and absolutely adored. And then going along here, we have some pretty popular authors. And then I found this one. This one was really interesting looking, but I didn't end up picking that up, obviously. We have some popular authors down here. I don't know if you saw, we had David Baldassi, J.D. Robb, and then this is The Wife Between Us. And we have some cozy mysteries. Now, I don't often find cozy mysteries very often at thrift stores this is the one that has the biggest selection of cozies i would say that i come across and you can see more popular titles down here here's another cozy but to the side here you'll see more popular titles more popular authors patricia conwell you have james patterson david baldassi more david baldassi there's so many David Baldassi's everywhere and JD Robb. I see the books often. There's Reese Bowen. I have never tried her work, but a lot of people absolutely love her books. Then we have The Housemaid by Frieda McFadden and then more cozies. <laughs> As you can see, they're Joanne Fluke. Like I said in the other thrift store, Joanne Fluke, I feel like I can find a decent amount of places. So I like hesitate to pick up her books often. I want to be able to read them in order. I'm just someone who loves to read cozies in order. It's just like a thing. I don't know. Alrighty guys, it's getting really late. So I just left to a thrift. I did get some books. I'm going to do a big book haul tomorrow when you can actually see me and I'm in the house and you know, we're going to get the kids to bed tonight. But anyway, I stopped at Goodwill. I did not plan on going here at all. They close in the next half hour. So I am literally going to run in really quickly. So if I don't get anything, I, it, that's just how it is because I have to be really quick but I will show you guys my haul tomorrow well you guys will see it in this video but I will personally do my haul tomorrow and show you guys everything I got I am excited I did pick up quite a bit of cozy mysteries I did pick up a uh, thriller I believe it is it's a very well-known author so I will see you guys if I don't get any footage here I'll see you guys tomorrow if not let's run into goodwill really quickly here we are at my local Goodwill. I do have to say this store is a pretty decent size and their book selection is pretty good. It's not the best, but it is decent. So here is their book selection. It's just one wall on the back and they have bins on the bottom there. So this is normally like kind of how their selection looks. It's not necessarily too organized or anything. The books are just on the shelves. Um, so you see David Baldassi there. Again, you will see the popular ones. There's Eclipse. You'll see that everywhere as well. I really need to do a video where I show you all of the, you know, popular books that you'll see at many thrift stores. So if you come across the book, don't pick it up new because you can't get it thrifted very easily. So here is the selection we have here. We have a Jojo Moyes book. This is The Giver of Stars. I didn't really find all too, too much here. It was just kind of a look around. And here I feel like you kind of really have to look because they have their mass market and everything combined. There's a Stephen King, The Green Mile. I recently saw somebody talk about it and was like wanting to pick it up, but it was in not the best condition. As you can see there, it was an older book. And then you can see there some James Patterson there. And there's another Kristen Hanna, The Four Winds. Alrighty guys, so that was a very abrupt end there, but I wanted to be able to look more at Goodwill before they close, and sometimes it's harder to look while I'm recording. As you can see, I missed out on a little life because I was too focused on what I was doing and like not paying nearly enough attention to what was there. So... I did end up getting some books, so we're going to start off. You guys know I didn't get any books from Good Stuff Thrift. I already updated you guys on that. At 2A Thrift, I did grab some books, so I did want to show you what I grabbed. Now, I did grab a book that I already own. This is actually one of the first times I'm doing this. I, ha I have done it before, but I don't do it very often. And this author, sometimes her titles seem very similar to me. They're probably not very similar, but like her spines and her book covers look quite similar to me. So anyway, we'll get into what I got at 2A Thrift and how much it cost. So I got a total of three, four, five books and they cost me $8. So it was a total of $8 for five books, which 
you can't beat it. And like I said, it was 25% off the book section because it was a Tuesday. And then they have the buy four, get one free. So I took advantage of all the discounts there. So I will show you the cozy mysteries that I got first. So the first two I have here are books by a very popular cozy author. And that is Ellery Adams. So I have here Poisoned Prose. And these are part of a Books by the Bay mystery series. So there's Poison Prose, and then we have a Deadly Cliché. There is that one, and I want to say these are books like two and five, maybe. I know they're not one. I know they're not the first book. So there are those two. I have been having my eye on reading Ellery Adams' series for a long while now, so I am very excited that I was able to get my hands on these two. Then we have this one, which is Brownies and Broomsticks, and this is by Bailey Cates, and this is part of A Magical Bakery Mystery, and I haven't read anything by Bailey Cates yet either, but I've heard a lot of people reading this one, and it gives the witchy vibes, and I've been loving my witchy stories lately. I know it's like such a random time of the year to be so involved in witchy stories right now, but that's how I feel. So I grabbed this one and then last but not least four cozies. I do have another one in the series on my shelves already. This is from a Booktown mystery and this is called Chapter and Hearse by Lorna Barrett. So there is that one. And then last but not least, this is the book that I picked up that I already own. And it is a Sherry Lapina book. It's called Someone We Know. And I do have it on my shelves. I can literally see it from where I'm standing. I like looked at it and then I looked over to where I know I have my mystery thriller books on my shelf. And I literally see the spine staring right at me. So, but that one is paperback. So whether I want to keep the hardcover or the paperback, maybe I will switch it out and donate the other one because I do have Sherry Lapina's other books in hardcover. So maybe it wasn't a wash after all. So there's that one. Again, for all five of these books, I ended up paying $8, which is crazy. It's a really good deal. So I'm happy about that. And then you guys saw I went into Goodwill like literally right before they were about to close. Literally as soon as I stepped foot into the store, they were asking everyone to come to the register with their like final things they had. So I literally was like going back there running, got some clothes for you guys. And then I literally like scanned really quickly and I found two books that I was obviously not thinking I was going to find. I feel like, first of all, these two I've been looking for for a long while. Not the one, because the one's a newer release, but this other one, this author, I've been looking for for a while, and I felt like I would have found her sooner than I had. So this first one here is The Whole Cat and Caboodle by Sophie Ryan. She has another series as well about cats, and I wanted one or the other. I didn't care which one it was. I have just not seen her stuff thrifting and I've been dying to get into either of her series. So I was so excited to find this and I know, so this one says $2.99 on the back. Um, so that's how much it was, but I'll get into that a little bit later. The next one I found, one of you had told me this was your favorite book of 2023. So when I heard that and I saw this, I was like, you have got to be kidding me. Like, how is this here? Because I have picked this up in Barnes & Noble and put it back down. And then I have also, like, had it in my cart on Pango and other sites. And I was just so excited to see this one because it's not a new, new release, but it did come out, like, mid-2023. That is a Strange Sally Diamond. So... I was so excited and I can't wait to read it. I am so excited to read this book. I have heard nothing but amazing things. So I hadn't heard about this book until one of you posted it in the comments and then I heard about it. I looked it up and I was like, that sounds absolutely amazing. And then I went to Barnes, had it in my hands, put it back down because I just had an absurd amount of books in my hands. So again, when I saw this, I was just so excited and I, like I said, I can't say anything other than like I am so excited to get into this book and just so 
I was so shocked to see it there. So that is the last one that I got at Goodwill. So the total for these two books, I rounded up in paying. So they always give you the option to round up. I rounded up to $8. So I paid $8 for these two books, which is just crazy because like I said, this is a newer release. And let me see how much it actually goes for. I think it's on $27.99. So I was going to pay $27.99 at Barnes and then I found it for $3.99 at Goodwill. How crazy. That is why guys, I love thrifting. I always advocate to thrift when you can because you just never know what you're going to find. Last year, if you've been around a long while, you will know I went thrifting. I found so many new releases last year that I kind of need to go back to thrifting because book buying is expensive. So I'm always a huge advocate of checking your local thrift store before you go to Barnes & Noble because you never know what you're going to find. So all in all, I got all of these books for a total of $16. So that was five, six, seven books for $16. You really can't beat that. So again, guys, if you are thrifting books, make sure to go try and thrift some books if you're interested. It's always a fun time. And even if you don't find something, it's a fun time. And when you do find something, it, it's just, there's just a, a feeling that goes to it. It's like a treasure hunt. I absolutely love it. So thanks guys for sticking with me for this video. I really truly appreciate each and every single one of you. If you like this video, make sure to give it that thumbs up. And if you want to stick around, make sure to hit that subscribe button. I love doing thrifting videos. I love doing anything bookish really. So if you want to see any of that, make sure to stick around. But again, guys, I appreciate each and every single one of you so, so much. Thank you. And I will see you guys soon.